Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a little update on the May 2019 update, how it's going in the testing phase, in the release preview. We have a little more testing going on because MSDN TechNet has uh, images, so a lot of techs have actually started installing May 2019 update to test it out also. And there is one major issue that is uh, right now going to actually show a little screen. If you have an external SD card reader or USB drive, there is a problem that apparently is related, driver related, and re it's it's actually in the way that Microsoft Windows reassigns drives. If you want to upgrade and you get this message here, we need your attention. The following things need your attention to continue installing. And it says that uh, your PC hardware isn't ready for the version of Windows 10. So the good news is that it uh, actually will tell you this without having to install it or anything. It's just going to say, no, well, I'm sorry, your PC is not compatible yet. Um, it seems that most people that see this have a SD card reader or a USB drive plugged in. And the good news is that you can actually simply unplug the devices and when you try to upgrade, it's going to work through. And you plug them back once the update is available. You know, I've mentioned so many times that it's good to just remove everything from the USB drives when you are, uh, from the USB ports, sorry, when you are actually upgrading Windows. It's a common problem that's always been there. Sometimes some devices, while the upgrade process is going on, aren't configured correctly. So if you have an SD card reader, one thing you can do is remove any SD cards within the reader. Apparently just removing the storage um, might fix the problem. If there are USB devices, unplug them from the USB ports, it will actually work. And in any case, if uh, because some of them are plugged USB internally on the motherboard, uh, when that happens, it, well, you'll get that error message. So it's a fix that will eventually come if some of you have those external drives. And that seems to be pretty much the biggest issue that testers have run into. Uh, like I said, if you unplug them from the USB ports, the uh, upgrade process goes well and everything is okay. But of course, there will probably be a cumulative update at some point that will fix this issue. We're still, you know, a few weeks away from the release, so they have time to fix all of this. And um, I can imagine there will be a big... Um, a big cumulative update that will fix a lot of stuff within uh, the May 2019 update at the same time as it is going to install. Like I already said, because some of you said, well, you'll have to do this before. It's all done automatically. It will happen on the install phase where the cumulative update will be applied and that's it. So uh, that's pretty much what's going to happen. It happens on the April and October 2018 update apparently. Um, that could also be a cumulative update that will be issued for the April or the uh, October 2018 update that will fix that bug. So we'll be checking that out. So that's the update on the situation. It's not a, a bug that will prevent the release. Uh, anyways, if you are with one of those problems, it's just going to tell you, like I uh, just showed you the message, uh, that something's just not right. Uh, and it won't touch anything and you won't have any problems. It's just going to say, well, you can't upgrade right now. Uh, we'll be, you know, having an update soon that will offer a fix. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.